question. Name the only player, other than Constantino Rocco, to win on the Challenge, European and European Senior Tours. This man. It's a, it's a privileged position. I won three times on the Challenge Tour and won the French Open in 2003 and then I won Wells three or four weeks ago in the uh, Speedy Wells Open. Golding was 50 last year and ever since he's been relishing life as a senior, putting together an impressive record, highlighted by his win at World Fourth Court. It's a good tour to play on, you know. They're very friendly out here, but they're also very competitive. So I played six events on the tour last year, which, and I finished top 18. I had a couple of seconds early on. In his European tour days, Golding was renowned for stubborn perseverance, attending Q School on a record of 19 occasions. I went to the tour school many times, and the rest of my car. And to play on the tour was a dream, so I was driven by getting on that tour. Golding may have taken a while to make an impact, but as a senior, his mark was made early, and in the Speedy Services Wales Senior Open, he excelled. You know, it was a tough course at the Broad Court in any conditions. So she was 66 on the last day, and to be honest, I didn't really look at the leaderboards all day. I just spotted away, and bugged away, and grafted, and as I do, and then got to 17 and realised I was three shots clear. So I was honoured to, to play that course and to win at such a prestigious sport. Plans for the career moment is arrived at the Golf National in 2003 when Golding won the French Open, staving off the likes of David Howell and Justin Rose. I said to my caddy, my body at the time, I said we need to make Bowley down the last, which was a par five then, now it's a par four. And originally I had seven iron out, but um, decided to hit six iron and uh, hit it over the water. You know, it's a, it's a difficult green, there's water before it and water afterwards, it's, you know, you think it's in the middle of nowhere, that pin position. His reward immense satisfaction. On the green two putts and uh, wow, it was, a, it, was a, it was a special moment and I can still remember that feeling now. The fluidity of the swing has changed little in the decade that's followed. And Golden could be in line for his third top ten finish of the season here. He's been bogey free on the back nine in the closing round of the Berenberg Masters and requires a birdie on the par 518 for a 70 and a three under for the event. So can the Englishman conclude his week in Germany on a positive note? With that, he matches the 54-hole total of defending champion Tim Thielen and Canada's Rick Gibson, who shot the final round 67.